Brilliant. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Great, how are you? I'm good. So I can't wait for the people to see this this series. And yeah. honestly, hype is my favorite. Shh. Oh, shut <laughs> up. Really? <laughs> <laughs> What was it about, you know, Mac and Piper that pulled you both into this series and, and this series as a whole? Kind of, PJ, go, 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 come on. She likes Piper. Give her the good, give her the goods. Give okay, the goods. okay, okay, okay. Um, I love the wittiness. I love the unpredictable qualities. Uh, it's written so well. Patty McRae and the team have put together such a wonderful fusion of Australia and America and... And, and the fact that actually there aren't really that many differences when you scale it right back to just human existence and relationships and what we grapple with as human beings, as individuals or inside relationships, um, that drew me so much in um, as an actor and the role itself um, is like a dream role for me. It's, I've, I'm somebody that's always been and felt obligated, um, like, not, not in a way where I'm expected to, but I felt obligated to my cultural um, responsibilities um, back home as an Aboriginal person from the southwest of Western Australia. So I haven't really pushed my career per se in a way that, that other performers have. Um, and it's always been inspirational to me. But when this particular audition piece came up, it spoke to me so strongly. I was like, I, I want this role. And I haven't really felt that before. Um, so I found it quite overwhelming and, and incredibly motivational to the point where I wanted to, to give a, a fantastic audition. And I'm so great that um, they felt that I was right for the role of Piper and I got to, to dive into her. She's such a wonderful character. I love everything she's about, multi-layered, um, driven, career-minded, a great example for women so far. Don't know what's going to happen with her <laughs> down the track, but um, I just love the comedy. I've been raised in a family that it's always laughing and joking at things and taking things seriously and having fights. I mean, doesn't every family go through that? So, so much attracted me to it. And, um, and, and yeah, I could say so much more, but I feel like we should talk to PJ as well. I don't want him to feel left out. I mean, you know, he's... Listen, we love you, we, we I love know I love you, damn it. And if Alexandria loves you, I'm all for this. I am all for it. <laughs> what do you want to know? What Anything more about Piper better. before before PJ tells us all about his... I, um... I suppose we, we better let... Oh, no. <laughs> I've, I've, only, I've only got seven minutes. Damn it. <laughs> damn it. Whatever you want to know, Alexandria, we've got the goods. But yeah, so so PJ, what what was it about Mac? Because uh, I mean, he's awesome. He <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, oh my god, Andrew, I love you so much. No, so th look, there, Pat, they, the script was just there's certain scripts that speak to you. There's certain characters that you're like, oh, I, I love this guy because I talk about this all the time. The totality of a human, where you can play the heart, the humor, and with these people thrown in horrible situations, and you can play this whole magical world. And I always loved a show called uh, Mash, which I'm sure you know. At times where it's wildly funny and times it's heart-wrenching and that's what that show offered and for an actor i love imbuing all of that into the show and i like this you know the message that it's sending that you know every home has a story no matter what town you're in around the world everybody's going through a hard time and if you can come together as a community you know you can really find an answer and i love that african proverb of you know if you want to go fast go alone if you want to go far go together and i think that our show really sends out that message in, in a lovely way so if you want to watch at home, it's that warm blanket that lets you know we're there with you. I mean, Mac does find himself at this crossroads in oh, yeah. life and, yeah. yes. you know, a crisis of faith and everything. What was it like being able to show that we don't see a, a vicar, a reverend, you know, have that crisis of faith that often? So what no, was that that, like? that's what was cool. I mean, it's not because like, it's not like he has like a. He, he wanted another woman or he had like a drug problem or he had that's why he sort of felt it's it's it was literally like he thought he's done everything right and the fact that his wife leaves him just blows up his whole mind so that just shows you the power of love and his belief in god that if i do everything right the world will be fine and that's that is just not the case so he is crisis of faith crisis of love he is at a low point in his life and anything that comes along he's just going to grasp so the fact that, you know, he runs into Paolo and Paolo goes, God doesn't exist. And if you see something, take it. He thinks he's shot like a thunderbolt to follow the, that lesson. And so he takes $1.6 million 
Alexandria. And that's a lot of money. And I don't know if you know this, but the mob, you can't take their money. They're going to want to get it back. So hijinks ensue. So one of the things I love about Piper, though, is that she she has no idea of what's going on. Paul, Paul you know, pa, Paolo knows. Ma, Mac slowly figures it out, and Piper is just there. <laughs> What was it like, you know, knowing what the storyline is, but having you know, play in this? Well, I don't have a clue. <laughs> yeah, look, she, it's so interesting. Um, she doesn't have a clue. No, she, she's trying to work this guy out. But to be fair, like she's been around some pretty quirky characters all her life. I mean, you look at some of the characters in Clump, in a way, the new Rev kind of fits in. <laughs> Um, in a way, really. So I think she's definitely navigating through that to get to the core of um, what his background is, how he became religious, um, probably why he has a wife. But I mean, she's a thinker, not a speaker. So we get to kind of relate to maybe what her thoughts are and hope that what we think she's thinking comes to fruition. So finally, describe each of your characters in just three words. I feel like we need the Jeopardy theme tune. Oh my God, I'll go, yeah. <laughs> we need uh, a multiple choice. Lost, narcissistic, happy. <laughs> Loyal, determined, complex. Thank you so much for your time. I have to wrap there, but it has been a pleasure speaking to you both and I can't wait for others to fall in love with Piper.